All right, so I'm gonna preface what I'm gonna say by this. All the ideas and steps I'm gonna show you, you do not have to be rich to do any of them. You actually don't have to have a lot of money to start implementing them. You just have to be willing to change what you're doing already. So let's look at them. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And also, when you do subscribe, click on that notification button so you get updated on the upcoming videos. So, we're going to be talking simply about three steps that the wealthy do that the poor often do not do. This focuses on how they utilize their money. The first thing I want to say is the difference between the wealthy and the poor is that rich people usually are producers and poor people end up just being consumers. So the rich and the wealthy produce product, they create things they can then sell to for others to consume. Most of the time, unfortunately, most people who remain poor are just strictly consumer. Whether they have to buy the latest gadget, buy the new iPhone that came out, or just spend a lot of time binging on entertainment. Think about this, the actor who produced that favorite series and that show that you love a lot, spend a lot of his time producing the show. And the person who's just watching the show is just the consumer. So they're the ones spending and paying the money for the movie, paying the money for the Netflix suspicion, whereas the actor is making money from producing that show one time. So what you want to do is you want to move from the consumer only aspect into becoming a producer. But here's the reality. Most people can be creators and producers. And you don't even have to have a lot of money to start. There are Plenty of examples of today of YouTubers who make six figure, even seven figure salaries just on the videos they produce on YouTube. And what do they have? They just have something to record on and a creativity of what they want to share. That's why YouTube personalities are called YouTube creators. So Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook and all these other billionaires that we know today, the biggest difference is they created something that now other people are consuming. Here's another thing that the wealthy and the rich do that creates more money for them. They do not spend a lot of time to save a little bit of money. First of all, I wanna say, I believe in saving. I think most of us should save. Most people do not save and that's already a bad habit. You definitely wanna be able to somebody who's, who save is smart with your money. Let me give you an example. You go on out grocery shopping, so you're gonna spend the next three to four hours going from a shop to shop because you only wanna save like, I don't know, $40 because you heard that at that particular store it's like 30 cents cheaper and then you have to drive to another store because it's a dollar less and then it's two dollars to have a promotion at that store so you spend the next three to four hours going to like five six seven stores because you wanted to save forty dollars whereas you could have used the same time that three to four hours creating a product that could have brought you a thousand dollars you have to spend the next two hours cutting more in the lawn because you don't want to spend $20 to pay the young kid in your neighborhood to cut the lawn for you where you could use the same two hours to produce and create something that can bring you more money. Time is our most precious commodity. It's the only commodity that we can never buy more of. We can never accumulate more. We all have a limited amount of time. The rich think this way. Why go for the $10 an hour job where you can go for the $1,000 an hour job? If it exists, Go for something that can pay you a higher return based on the time investment you're gonna put into it. I want you to start looking at the skills and the talent that you have. And start looking at the time investment that you're currently giving to things that are only giving you a little bit of return. If you're gonna spend the next hour or two hours working on something that can only save you a dollar, two or three or four dollars, how can you find something that can produce another 20, a hundred dollars during that same time frame? That's how the wealthy think. Number three, understand the value of money. Money that is not put to use decreases in value. Anything that is not put in use decreases in value. So in my video about why rich people do not use the bank, which I'll link in a YouTube card over there, you can click and watch that video. IRA, savings accounts, and all the different things, the rate of return that they give you at a bank is nowhere near for you to be able to double your money. So if you just take your money and leave it in the bank, what actually would happen is due to inflation, later on if you don't put that money to use, guess what? It decreases in value. It's an incredible video, it's more detailed than that, so you definitely wanna watch the video. 
Wealthy people don't leave their money in the bank. What they do is they put their money in seeds. What I mean by seeds, seeds is anything that can produce more money. The, here comes the sentence, let money work for you. You want your money to work for you instead of you working for it. And that is one of the biggest secrets of the wealthy and the rich. They put their money to go and work for them. One of the things that was really powerful for me to understand is what to do with a dollar. See, most of you guys, you want me to talk to you about what you're gonna do with your next thousand dollars, your next ten thousand dollars. You want me to throw you these crazy numbers out there. Here's the reality. If you don't know what to do with one single dollar, you're not gonna know what to do when they give you a million dollars. You're gonna squander it. If you don't know what to do with a single dollar, you're going to mismanage ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. So here's one thing that I've learned. So whenever you get a dollar, you have to understand that ten percent of it you want to give it to charity or to your tithe. So giving away the money being grateful taking the money and you give it to something so to a cause something that's going to uh, bring more of, of a self-fulfillment giving to the world right we have to be grateful for uh, the the space we occupy in the world so giving back plays a big role i don't know why it works it just works i give to my church and other charities that i give to but you can give it to something else but giving 10 percent of that dollar so 10 cents will go towards giving away and then the next 20 cents you want to take that money and you want to utilize that money into a saving. So that's what you want to uh, invest into maybe a long term or you want to uh, put that into some kind of savings account. You don't want to utilize that money. So you want to take the, the 20 cents after you give the 10 cents to charity or to your church or to give back. You take the next 20 cents and you put that aside. It could be something that is automatically withdrawn from your account. You can do it through some services that like whatever your local bank is, that 20% of your next paycheck would automatically go into a savings account. And then you're left with the 70 cents. See, this is the 70 cents that you live on. If you wanna use a portion of that to invest into a business, that's up to you. I don't wanna tell you how to use that 70 cents. This is 2017 and statistics show that in America for every dollar earned, most Americans spend $1.25. So you spend more money than you make, no wonder most people are in debt. So here's the biggest difference between the rich, the wealthy, and the poor. The rich and wealthy know what to do with a dollar. If you really are diligent with the 10 cents that you give away, the 20 cents that you save, not long from now, you're gonna create some successful money habits. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope these tips were helpful. If they were, give this video a thumbs up and also share it to someone else. Make sure that you subscribe to this page if this is your first time and also click the notification button so you get updated on the upcoming videos. But until then, I'll see you next time. Remember, you got very best. Take care.